Hello YouTube, Marcus Moriser here. You know, it's been a hot minute since I talked about Mega Man. Let's fix that. After getting into the Battle Network Legacy Collection way too late, thanks to Alan Peterson for getting it for my birthday, I got to thinking. First off, whoever made library completion in the first game a required achievement is a sick and twisted individual. Second, wasn't I planning a video where I compared all the redesigns? I should really get back to doing that. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, you clicked on the video, you saw the title, you know what I'm going to do, what do you want from me? If you're still confused or you don't know what a Rockman is, here's the basic premise. The Robot Masters from the classic Mega Man series were reimagined as living computer programs designed, usually, for combat in Battle Network. Known as Net Navvies, that's not even close, there you go. Some of the design changes were simple, others were not. Some of them were made more badass, others were not. Some of them were Sharkman, others were not. So I'm going to be comparing the two designs and seeing which ones I like better. Though, before we get started, a couple rules. 1. I'm comparing anyone who shares a name in either English or Japanese and the anime dub names don't count. I'm also going beyond the classic series for comparisons if that is what's being adapted to Battle Network. 2. I'm not going to be comparing the humans of either series because frankly we do that enough in real life. This also means I won't be taking the operators into account for the net navvies unless I'm forced to. 3. I'm actually allowing myself to declare a tie, and if need be, I'll be revisiting them at the end of the video. And 4. This is my opinion, not yours, not your doctor's, not your neighbor's, not your mother's, how is your mother, I hope she's doing well, it's just my opinion. Also, for the three of you who care, I'm going to go by debut order for the Battle Network games instead of the classic ones. It won't affect the score or anything, but I just like being a little different. And if you didn't know that about me... Hello YouTube, Marcus Moraes! So, grab yourself some hydrogen peroxide, I hear it's the sequel to water, and together, Jack in! Compulsive Judgment! Legs go! Starting off with the tough one, both are appealing and incredibly recognizable, especially Hub. But considering the simplistic appeal that is recognizable even when it's unrecognizable, I'm giving the point to Rock. Some might say that the Navi has too much zero in him. We'll forgive how he has no reason to be called Proto Man in this setting and give him the point anyway. Okay, Roll's just a blonde girl in a vaguely red outfit, yet she's still recognizable. EXE is adorable, but I've grown used to her over the years, and if I hadn't, then I'd be confused. Both by the polygonal ponytail and her bug tails. So though it's less unique, I'm giving the point to the robot. I've heard some people have a hard time deciding between these two. I can't relate. Classic has a nice edge to him, but EXE makes it look natural even when it's covered by Zero's cloak. I mean, Alita's cloak. I mean, A cloak. Point Navi. And here we have our first tie. They both look powerful, intimidating, and incredibly huggable. There's enough give and take between the two that I don't have a preference. This is the only Legends character I'm covering, and he's adapted in name only. In fact, I think the name is the only reason EXE has wings to begin with. Sorry, 3PO, but I'm giving this to the Sky Pirate. A slim margin, but the Navi's red and gray look won out for me, especially when it looks like he was always designed to be a Torchman of sorts. Segway! Hot take! I don't like either of these. The robot resembles man, and the Navi isn't one. At the very least, there's gameplay utility with the robot design, so he gets the point. Oh, ha ha. You think you're real cute, don't you? Bitch, I'm adorable. Okay, show me the real one. Now that is adorable, which is exactly the problem. Iceman was already cute, so going even cuter just makes him look so out of place. The cheeks? Seriously? Point robot. The robot here is just knockoff Electro in black spandex. EXE has the lightning arrester backpack and a more consistent color scheme. Point Navi. Oh yeah, EXE absolutely takes this. He's not just da bomb, he's all da bombs. Plus some grenade patterns for good measure. These are the most unique ones thus far, and I give the point to the Navi. Wizard hat, crystal ball hands, a plague mask beard. Data Copperfield doesn't even come close. Woodman EXE gets way too much hate. He looks fine outside of Battleship Challenge, but I'm not giving him the point over the robot. That would be ridiculous. Skullman's design is way too tryhard. There is a skull on his skull on his skull. Too much. I'd give the Navi the point if he looked any cooler, which honestly he doesn't. It's a draw. Capcom, if you're not going to go full Kafa Grigus with your Pharah design, or I guess Anakaris in this case, 
then don't bother, especially when the original is so well composed. Fun fact, Shadow Man's an alien. You wouldn't know it looking at him. He looks like what if Inafune drew a ninja and stops exactly there. EXE, on the other hand, has the scarf, the Muramasa, the Waraji legs. Easy win for the Navi. If there were like a filter that turned Robot Master designs into Net Navi designs, Airman would be the quintessential result. And hey, it works, making him more threatening and a bit more like a jet turbine. Point Navi. Take everything I just said and repeat it for Quick Man. What more could you want or need? On second thought, don't answer that. I'm torn on this one. Split, divided, cut in half. They look almost the same, with just a little color swapping in different eyes. EXE has a cute little C on his chest, but it's entirely unnecessary. I'll call it a draw. Points to Nightman EXE for being imposing, but he could also try being imposing without being five times the size of everyone else. Point Robot. If you're just a guy with your gimmick stapled onto you, you've got an uphill battle. And poor Magnet Man doesn't stand a chance in this one. Point Navi. Something about EXE just reminds me of Mr. Freeze from The Batman, and that's enough for me to give the robot the point right away. The Navi looks like an adorable mascot that secretly looks like it wants to kill me. The robot's just a guy in a frog suit who also wants to kill me, I guess, but it's not the same. Point, Navi. Look at the details on EXE. A snake in a jar that still has some humanoid aspects like the hands and the mouth? Very creative. The robot, I mean, he's got a good pose in this image, but he's just a guy in a snake hoodie. Underwhelming. The original was a Zippo lighter with no real reason. I mean, he didn't even use that functionality until the arcade games. EXE, on the other hand, that's terrifying, and I love it. Plus, look at the concept art. He fully commits to the Zippo lighter bit. I kinda like the Net Navi here, but I think the Robot Master takes this because he uses the whole Napalm Launcher idea just a bit better. It's close, but point robot. Kirby is the only one that can get away with putting needles on a hat and calling it a day. And you, sir, are no Kirby. Point Navi. God, I don't like either of you. EXE could at least work if he were Plugman and not Beat from Jet Set Radio, and the original just looks... doofy. Calling a draw. Both of these designs are used creatively in combat, but visually it does EXE no favors. Not helped by the fact that in the anime he's just Blitzwing from Transformers Animated. That is an easy point for the robot. Oh, I'm not even gonna try and defend this one. Gravity Man is one of the best looking robot masters ever, and the Net Navi is... not. Starman looked at Skullman and said, Hey, I can do that, but dumber! EXE looked at the original and said, Dude, stop trying so hard. Point Navi. Okay, I will defend Zero EXE. He looks terrifying, and I love it. What I don't love? That hair. Or is it a cave? The fact that I can't tell makes me uncomfortable and not in the way I'm supposed to. Point Robot, or Reploid, I guess. Light bulb. Clever thinking by making the lance detachable and the arm guards tie it all together. Definitely beats the beta design too. Point Navi. Oh, it's this mother blubber. Look, despite being arguably the worst Navi in the entire series, design is not the problem. Although both it and the Robot Master could still serve to be a bit cuter or tougher rather than the weird middle stage both take. I'll call it a draw. This is the easiest choice of the video. On the one hand, you have a troll in Central Park, and on the other, you have Rosemond's husband. And while I schedule another appointment with my therapist, point Navi. If they were trying to avoid tripping sensitivities with the change here, mission failed, as Flamman EXE here is just boring. And for a quadruped on fire, that shouldn't be the case. Also, just turn the turban into a furnace grill, problem solved. Drillman EXE can shapeshift into one big drill bit, and that is amazing. While the robot just sticks some drills on his hands and his head. Easy point, Navi. Wily, seriously, stop sticking random things on your robots and calling it a day. This is getting embarrassing. Do better. Also, stop being evil, I guess, but one thing at a time. Point, Navi. It's no secret or surprise that the original Punk is a designer's favorite. And of course, they managed to improve his design in every way by just a bit. Point, Navi. Why, yes, I am counting Darkman. Now, granted, there were four of him, but three's the favorite one as far as I can tell, and it would hardly matter because the Navi outclasses all of them put together. Insert Sam Raimi joke, point Navi. What's a Yamato, I hear you ask? Well, in the English version, what's a Japan? Yeah, no one knows why they changed the name. These two are so exactly alike that it just comes down to color preference, and that's not enough for me to break the tie. 
The helmet might be cute, but Turbo Man is drastically over-designed. The Net Navi gets across the same concept of a walking race car with fewer distracting elements. Putting that cookie down for EXE. And speaking of distracting elements, I'm glad Ring was allowed to exist non-traditionally, but that is way too many rings all over her. Ring Man might exhibit a case of the stapled ons, but at least he doesn't look like he's gonna strangle Robin Williams just by walking by. Point Robot. The Navi is technically more detailed with those electrodes, but is that seriously all they did? That is enough of a disappointment that I am actually giving the robot the point. I shouldn't, but screw it, I am. Okay, let's presume that there was an edict from on high to make Top Man EXE a geezer, no matter what else they did. If they're gonna do that, at the very least make the cane the handle of a top or something! The robot gets the point for better use of theme alone. And when someone at Capcom eventually starts designing Dreidel Man, I will expect better. Okay, okay, we already did this bit with Iceman, we're not doing it again. Show us the real- <gasps> Oh my god, he's so precious! I don't want to give the robot the point! But I'm doing it anyway because I do not see that net navy in a fight whatsoever! You designed that thing for combat? Are you nuts? And now back to your regularly scheduled ARSON! These two piss me off in all of the right ways. The propane tanks, the burner hands, the sadistic grins. All of the elements integrated into both of their designs really creatively, so yeah, another tie. Raise your hand if you remember that Windman existed. Put your hand down, you're lying. He looks like a glorified Airman stage enemy, while the Navi looks like a character to begin with. Yeah, point Navi. If it weren't for the scarf, you think that the Robot Master and the Net Navi swap places. As it stands, yeah, taking the concept that literally is one fridge too far. Point Robot. They say that two heads are better than one, but they ain't better than Solid Snake. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Imagine a Navi made out of discarded data. It could look like a chimera of any other net Navi in this entire setting. And instead, what do they do? A bunch of scrap metal given claw arms and cable dreads. Point robot for better commitment to the environment it is built in. Literally. Let's see, do I want Cyberspace Castlevania or an animatronic Count Chocula? For the record, that question was rhetorical. You know, I've never eaten a gyro, but I'm fairly certain they don't come in these colors. Whatever the case, I definitely prefer the Transformer aspect of EXE tied together with the Aviator Shades, so point Navi. One tries way too hard to invoke the image of a native tribesman, and the other one just is. And if you can't tell which is which, you might want to stay off the internet. Throw in a better color scheme and point Navi. Okay, what do you want from me? This guy's a snowball on skis. That's it. I guess I do like the hat and the color on EXE, and I would prefer cute to completely forgettable, so here we are. I wouldn't blame anyone for bringing up Thunderman EXE, seriously how is that not a robot master yet, but in fairness I'm sticking to the Cloud Men, and in that regard, I'm gonna give the point to the Net Navi. he looks like a Greek god on a threatening thunderhead. Good stuff. You know, if you add some metal joints to the Net Navi, EXE is what the Reploid probably should have looked like in the first place. The Dark Coat really ties the whole thing together. Beyond that there's not much to talk about, so yeah, point Navi. Classic is trying way too hard to look savage and spiky, while EXE is trying, well, whatever the hell Shenko was doing, but hey, it works for him. Point Navi. Oh my god, that's seven in a row. Is that gonna keep up? Well, not quite. Ignoring the Astiff movie reference you've already made in your head, Navi designs have the flexibility not to have to be humanoid, but the original here has so many train elements naturally worked into his design, and they're both equally creative. The Navi has the conductor hat, the robot has the cowcatcher shoes. I gotta give this a tie. Technically, the Navi is a more accurate representation of a Tengu, at least as far as these things go. When it comes to visual appeal though, I can't say EXE does it for me, so I'm giving the point to the robot. Oh, wow, a uh, ground man, Tunnel Rhino just called, he says you're overdressed. What do half of those drills even do? The Navi gets right to the point and doesn't have to push it so hard. Point Navi. Not that I'm the world's biggest defender of Dustman, but something about EXE just makes me cringe a bit. Maybe it's the face or the chest cavity jaws. Whatever it is, point robot. The first and as of yet only Navi to predate the Robot Master and a completely different take on the name. While EXE is pretty well composed, I mean we've got lots of cannons in the series so he just kind of blends in. Point goes to Bakugo. I mean the Robot Master. I mean Bakugo. Dive Man EXE smokes an adorable pipe and that's all I need to give him the win. 
He am what he am. Forgot about this one, didn't you? Their designs are basically just... Women. I'll give the Reploid the point for standing out a bit better in a crowd, but really, both are meant to look innocent so they can... What am I fighting for? Die. So, that should wrap up everything, with our tally being... A one-sided affair for Battle Network, even if all ties broke to classic. So, that settles things, right? Wrong! You know me, I'm pretty much never done just by doing the obvious. So, let's throw in some more counterparts that aren't exactly net navvies or robot masters, per se. On the left, we have the best dog in all of gaming, don't try to tell me otherwise, you would be wrong. On the right, not that. In fact, they only called him Rush in retrospect. Point, Robodog. Okay, that's just lazy. Taking Mega Man's helmet and slapping a couple of bird features on it? Come on, that would be like turning Mega Man EXE into a cat. Bad example. And speaking of which, what worked for the robot bird did not work for the robot cat. Thank god the Battle Network team took more liberties on that one. Yep, you're seeing this right. These two? Same character. I just want to imagine a Japanese player hearing about this evil group named Gospel and asking, Wait, the terrorists are a dog? And then suddenly that clone of Bay shows up and it all makes more sense. All this is to say, point, Battle Network. Oh, and speaking of final bosses, oh hi Galactus, what are you doing in a Capcom game eight years early? I don't know who I'd give the point to, both look powerful, but also kind of dorky. It's as high. Oh, and I wasn't kidding with that Galactus comparison, it's not just the design. And just like Galactus, I am still not satisfied. Let's get even more technicalities out there. The original Sharkman DOS, not need to exist. If you can't tell, that's just fan art to one of Snake Man's poses. Not that the point wouldn't go to the Navi regardless, because... Beef! I'm not using the Clockman from the Wonder Swan, don't even try me. Art style notwithstanding, Time Man definitely gets across when he needs to, albeit while looking silly. Whereas Clockman ironically feels the need to staple a clock on every joint like he's Skull Man. Dude, overkill. Point Robot. Well, they're both kings. I mean, one of them's a ruler in golden armor and the other's a chess piece. Both do their thing fine. I'm giving it a tie. And now we start getting confusing. Not having Circus Man be Clown Man is so arbitrary to me, but hey, here we are. And yeah, that's an easy point for Clown Man. Circus Man is just too much and too little in both of the wrong ways, and he's far more annoying than he has any right to be. Clown Man gets the balance right. Enough. Although, speaking of annoying, if you're wondering why I didn't compare Clown Man to someone else, well... This pairing makes a lot more sense. The bouncy ball, the silly stage, the bright colors, all a very good fit. And you know, I think Color Man does it better. I still don't know why he's even called that, but hey! Yes, I'm comparing these two. They've got big round bodies with satellites that attack you and a general space theme. Screw you, they're the same damn thing. I was torn at first who I like better, in a fight I would say Astro Man, but design-wise, yeah, I'm gonna give this point to Planet Man. It's a good mix of sci-fi silliness in all the right ways, so yeah, point Navi. Okay, even I admit this one's a bit of a stretch, but screw you, I'm having fun. With Cosmo Man having those rings and stars and vortex elements, and Galaxy Man being, well, Galaxy Man? Yeah, they're close enough. Galaxy Man being a living UFO is cool and all, but Cosmo Man is such a cool design, I'm giving him the point. How the hell does this even- You know what? Fine, I'll work with this. A bit odd that Sticky Bombs look a bit drill-like, but hey, it works for Crash Man. Jamming Man, on the other hand, who was in one of the mobile phone games I might add, is... I don't even know what I'm looking at. Antennae? Transformers? Maybe? Point Robot. And now to finish us off where we started. Kinda. I know I gave the robot the point in the beginning, but when all it takes to turn him evil is pink eye and a frown? Yeah, I'm giving this to EXE. Granted, I could have compared him to Quint or Mega Man Shadow, but... No. And now, at last, our final tally is... Roll the clip! A one-sided affair for Battle Network, even if all ties broke to classic. Well, ain't that a coinky dink But hey, that's just how the battle chips fall sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you have to guess your school teacher's measurements to get an achievement, and sometimes I should really avoid finishing a sentence. But hey, we're all Mega Man fans, right? It's not really about who wins. 
It's about the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. All right, shoot some lemons, baby. Love the Mets. Let's go, Mets. Well, I sure as hell didn't learn anything. Thanks for watching. Disagree with any of my choices? Leave a comment below. Want me to compare Strike Man and Bull Man EXE? Give me a break. But what about Centaur Man and Reverse Ride Man EXE? Who are you people? And as always, if you like what you've seen, subscribe to see what I do next. This is Morcus Marai, sir, jacking out. And on the note of redesigns...